Okay, these are mud fossils, and I've been going over um, the, the chemistry and the preservation process and so forth, and it happens in wet environments. Now, I'm going to go over lungs today, and I have them from literally, it's like it came out of the box yesterday. It has the pleura on it and everything, all of the investments, um, which are the fascia flaps and, and so forth. The depression of the heart is there. This is a human lung, and it was DNA tested. This even, this pattern here is even on human lungs, and then this flap comes off and it latches down, and that's what holds the lung so that it doesn't flop around in your body. It, it, there's no question what it is, and it was DNA tested. And I'm going to show you this stuff in a microscope. Now, that one there was fully ready to go. Now, this one here is partially deteriorated. The pleura is coming off, and it's down to where the uh, the lung tissue is, the lobes and so forth, and that will turn red as, if it's wet uh, as it gets rehydrated. That, that's the nature of uh, of blood, and it, you know sometimes sometimes it doesn't, but this this and this has been rehydrated many times, so it's it's not getting real ready. But this is. Same thing, it has the same investments, and that's the pleura, and, and this hasn't been DNA tested, but um, I'm sure that, well, it's some kind of a lung, let me put it that way, there's, there's blood in there. And that's the nature of it, the blood is what preserves them. Now, this was a, a lung that was preserved in mud, this is a true mud fossil. Uh, they get preserved in different ways, in different um, uh, solvomorphism, it's called solvents. So this one was in mud, and it's a, it's a lung, and um, and I'll show these things under the microscope. They, they they show a lot better. Now this is also a lung that is is partially deteriorated. This is what's called fascia on the surface here, and I'll be showing this in the in the microscope. And this one here bled out partially, and this bleeding is this, and it was, some people call that granite or whatever you want to call it, but it's not. It's, 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 and it's in, 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 in the real granite is, is, is actually not, not a natural stone. It's, it's um, reprocessed stone after they take the metals out. There's no metals in granite, and it's granular, crushed all back together, totally homogenous. It was from metal processing, and then they put it back together again. A lot of the granite is, and I could prove that, and it's, it's quite obvious. Now, this is what happens when blood leaks out of a, of a uh, in this particular case, uh, of this um, lung. It turns red and it turns black. And the reason is, this is the red blood is the FeO3. It has oxygen in it. And that's what a lung does. It transfers oxygen into the blood and takes the carbon dioxide out. The, FeO2 blood is depleted blood, the black blood, and this is fully understood. They're 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 isotopes. Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're they're FeO2 and FeO3. There's a two oxygen and a three oxygen in their oxides. Uh, anyway, that's that's what it is. Now, uh, and you can see the pores, and you know, if you cut it open, you'll see the whole thing. That's a that's a, a lung. Now, so uh, there's another stage of decomposition. Here's one it's down to the lobes and these are the literal lobes if you look at them carefully I don't know if you can see this in the, in the uh, magnifying in the uh, uh, video here but they, they are literally the lobes of the lung and, uh, and that and this is a lung that's been cut open and this is what happens inside the lung as it transfers the um, the blood and the uh, carbon dioxide in and out and there's actually metals in here and you can see the metals when you look at it in a microscope they're very obvious and that's the key and here's another uh, lung and and there's the investment at the top the red investment that where it hooked in at the top and it has the same thing the red investment at the bottom and the, all the lungs are, are similar to that so lung, 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 they're all over the place. Now, uh, what else are I going to show? Oh, and here, when you get into uh, volcanic conditions, they come out like this, where, uh, or acids or whatever. It eats all the, the, um, the bioorganism, you know, the organic models, the volatile organics inside. And it leaves some of the carb, I mean, the uh, uh, iron is still in there. You can see it's red. I hope you can see that in here. 
Now, and you can also see, if you can, there's like crystals grow in these vugs. These holes are called vugs. And that's where the organics sublimate out of creatures. And that was a lung of some creature. Uh, and, and they turn even this way here, where they look. Uh, this was in some form of uh, like um, percolates of, um, and you can see all the metals in it and everything, or where the, the valves went in. Anyway, I, I'm going to show this stuff in the microscope and you'll see it a little clearer. Alright, this is what bled out from one of these lungs, and it literally bled from all over the place. It was like a bloody mess. And the lung was right here. That's the lung right there. And do you see all those red spots? Well, this was years ago, and then, and of course, they're gone now. But, and uh, it's, it, it, they still rehydrate, though. Blood will rehydrate almost forever. Now, this one right here, we saw that. I showed you that a few minutes ago. That one was DNA tested, and um, I'm going to show it to you in the microscope right now. All right, so let's go and look up here at the microscope shot. Hold on. Hope you can see this. All right, now that is the lung right here, and that this what you're looking at is what's called pleura, and that's the outside of the lung that encases the lung, and, and you know it's fully understood. It's a fibrous. They used to call it tunica. Uh, the Greeks, it's, it's like a wrapping of the lung. Now, I'm going to uh, try to do this, uh, get a little closer down here. Hold on. Alright, now you can see what it's made of. You see all this little white fibers? There's all these white fibers and then there's this little brownish stuff and the blackish stuff. That is is the, the, the pleura and that is what they call fascia. And fascia is uh, it's a, it's it, it it separates all your organs in your body and it separates all the fibers in your tendons and it literally separates all your cells from all your other cells. It's a web that completely filters through your body to keep everything from mixing with everything else. And your veins and your arteries are complete, like they're glass tubings, literally, in your body. When, you're, when they're wet and they're supple, they resist virtually every chemical there is. I mean, you don't, you don't fall apart in, in chlorine and all that stuff. So you're, you're pretty well built. And, um, and these things are, that's called fascia. And I wrote a paper years ago, it's called Fascia Facilitated Fossilization. And that is what happens. And when these things break apart from glacial tilling and uh, after, I, I believe they were, they were preserved in the Great Flood. And uh, as the, I don't know what happened after that, they sloshed around or whatever, they got broken up into pieces. And the pieces are the literal body parts that are separated by this, this fascia fabric. Now, if you can see over here, hold on. Over there is another... Uh, that stuff right there is from another um, uh, extremely old rock. And that is the, the fascia that coated that rock. And I believe that was a long as well. I mean, I have them coming out of my ears. Now, so that's that particular um, lung. Now, let's look at the one that was partially deteriorated. And that's this one right here that I put the water on. You see this, this ridge right in here? Let me get something I can point with. Alright, this right here, this ridge, is the fascia. Well, it's a plural. Let me see, back it up down here. Let's come way down here. I just maybe be a little easier to see. Well, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but what it is, is, uh, and I'll come right up close to it. You see, this is the one that's deteriorating. We're down almost into the lung here, and up here we should be really um, in the lung, actually. Let me turn the light down. Alright, you see that? 
That's actual, literally, the lung, and that's parts of the lobes of the lung. And that's after the pleura degraded and got down there. Now, if you look over here at the outside of the lung, this is the outside of the lung, and that's the pleura on the outside of the lung. Hold on, let's see if it's getting bright. Alright, that's better. Now, this is the pleura on the outside of the lung. Now, let's move to where it deteriorated away, and now we're on the inside of the lung. You see that? I, I'm trying to move this around. You can see there's like a three dimensions to this. You see those little tiny holes? That's the, the, the actual tissue of the lung. And this, of course, is the outside of the lung, as we saw. This is the same lung that's partially deteriorated. Now, so that, we saw that. Now, here's the, here's the um, uh, a mud fossil lung. Now, you can see the outside is, is you can see that book. And this, this is the, uh, hold on. This is that mud fossil lung, and it has that same, same stuff on the outside, you see it? But it's not, you know, it's more mud than the other one. The other one's, uh, this must have been in, in a different mud condition when it was fossilized. But that's what it is, and, and uh, you see here's where the blood was coming in, some of the black blood. And then there's going to be places where there's red blood. But that's that's what happens. You see, here's now here's a where a red blood area is. Hold on. See, there it is right there. Now, so that's what happens inside these lungs. Now, when they go all the way to total deterioration, you end up with with this, uh, which is your um, you know major completely. Or I showed this before. Anyway, let's let's go back over this now. This is what happens inside of this lung. Let me back this out a little bit because so it's going to be hard to see. All right, here's 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 this lung. Let me lighten it up a little bit. All right, so now here we go. That's inside of a lung. That's what happens. All these little chambers go from one to the other and you see there's black and there's red and there's black and red and what, what that see is black over there and there's red over here. The red is your, your ferrous oxides and your um, your blood obviously. Hold on. I have a hard time orienting this. Alright now and you can see it's not, it's not it's, there's no mystery here. Alright. So that is what's going on inside these lungs. Now, once the lung loses everything that's inside of it, these holes become what they call vugs. And hold on, uh, I've got to find one to crystallize. Hold on. I, I, saw, I saw one before, it's, they're in there, but my eyes aren't that good. Anyway, they're in here. So I take my word for it. But anyway, that's 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 the deal with lungs. So we got what we got, and the lungs are what they are, and they, these are where crystals form in these cavities. And I know there's crystals in here. I just can't find one quickly. And my, you know, the light's not good here. But um, this is what happens: is these holes. You leave, and, and there's metal seeds left in them, and the metal seeds attach to percolates that come down through the water. And the percolates uh, grow the seeds into uh, crystals, just like you grew your crystals in a, you know, that rock candy you grow when you're a kid. Anyway, I can't find any diamond or crystals in here, but they're in here. You can see it's, it's all organic. So, that's what we got. Those are lungs, and you can go out in your backyard and find them. They're all over the place. They're everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. 
And if you can't go and find one in 10 minutes, you, you, all I can tell you is lens crafters. <laughs> now, that's what I got, and uh, I think somebody should look into this. These are not accepted, but there's, uh, I've have, I have, uh, well, I did three DNA tests, and they've all been uh, um, tested human DNA. So, it's what it is. And all these rocks have veins and arteries in them. I've shown this over and over and over. And, and it won't be allowed to be, be reviewed by um, science. Yale won't help. Harvard won't help. Nobody will help at all. Nobody in the scientific community will step forward. So, that's my issue. I did the work. I got the three DNA tests done. There's seven CAT scans. There's no question what it is. So, it just needs to be looked at. And then we can find out a little more about our actual ancient history. That is what I am asking and hoping for that to be done. Thank you.